Hi guys, very good evening to all of you. Uh, welcome to this uh, video number 598. Uh, my name is Ajay Parmar and uh, today I'm going to talk about the web scrapping topic. So as we have started this series a uh, few weeks back, so today I'm going to answer your uh, these questions uh, most of the time which uh, revolves around the login on a website. So today we will be talking about that how we can go and do the login. So to do this, I'm going to use a website, uh, which is my share trading account. So this is the portal which I'm going to use, right? As you can see here, it's uh, the Samco account. And uh, this is the account which I'm going to log in here and I'm going to put the password. And then after putting the password, I will hit on the login page, right? So this is the same thing you can go and use in your the own website as well, right? Now, guys, if you have joined uh, recently, and uh, you're following the channel maybe for uh, for from last week or maybe you know one month then i just wanted to tell you one thing that because a lot of you ask me that since there are so many videos so how to go and check the videos you know you have to click on the playlist if anyone who does not know anything about the playlist then this is the icon when you go and click on my channel you find here 51 playlist and this is the excel vb web scrapping series so click on click there and find out these four videos some of the videos are in hindi language so if you do not know hindi you can avoid it okay so these are all the different different playlists which i have created this channel is dedicated for those professionals or those wannabe professionals who want to enter in the excel excel vb access and access vb okay so guys uh, let's go and start the topic now so so let us go and uh, you know hit on the developer tab now if you haven't watched the previous videos you can go after watching this video and go and check out uh, some of the very important step uh, you know stuff about the web scrapping because i talked about the web uh, scrapping classes there right so i'm not really going to repeat all that stuff in this case what we are going to do uh, the idea is first of all we will go and browse the website and once we you know browse the website using uh, obviously this shdocvw class we will go and launch our website okay on this internet explorer i mean so first we go and launch the internet explorer i take you to the visual basic let's quickly go and write it so if you remember in the previous session when we did the web scrapping last time we had activated two libraries one is the microsoft internet controls and the second is the microsoft html object library now this is something mandatory for you you have to activate these libraries in the vba window html library helps helps us in actually going inside the html document which is the front page of the your website right and the internet controls obviously uh, we are going to use it because we need the uh, browser uh, where we go and you know uh, put the uh, website url okay so this browser which i'm going to use is the internet explorer right guys so this is the first step you need to do now uh, i simply go and quickly write this uh, the program so let's say we, we will write here a login okay now what i want to do is i quickly want to first of all launch my internet explorer so this is how you write dame is and then you go and use this shdocvw class and then internet explorer and then set i equals to shdocvw.internet explorer so you, you internet explorer right new internet explorer and we are going to make it visible the next step which we will do is we will go and navigate the website okay so i simply go to my this website and i go and copy this path which is start.samco.in so this is the path i'm going to copy okay so this this way guys we will navigate it and till the time this uh, the website will not launch fully on my this the page you know on my internet uh, i will keep this event running here right so we will say that do while your i dot ready state not equals to complete okay so keep running this loop 
so what happens till the time because whenever you launch any website it takes a little time depending upon in the internet speeds so we would like to keep running this till the time your website is not fully launched this is the logic behind this right otherwise what will happen if you don't write this line then the page is not going to be loaded and immediately your the next lines you know which you're going to write here they will start executing and obviously if the page is not open if the website is not launched on your browser how can you go inside the controls of that right so this is the first thing okay now if i go and run this right now you can see here let me just go and click hit on here all right uh, one thing i forgot let's make this visible true right this is how it is so i hit on the f5 and let's go and check that now you know that if you have seen my previous videos this is how the samco the page is going to open let me just go and maximize it later we will maximize it using the api so you can see here that i actually got here you know my the web page open but the point is i have to now log out from this page because right now it is locked in so i just go and log out it so once i have locked it out i go and close this page and i'm now going to rerun this and i close everything over here okay i even go and close everything even the youtube so let's go and run this page now guys So I hit here and now this is going to be the login page which is going to come. You can see here I have launched this. Now here we need to go to the username and the password. Now the next thing which we want to do is since you have opened the internet, internet explorer and you navigated the website, the next step for us is to go inside this document. So this entire page is called the document, right? So to define the document, I simply go and quickly write here. Then I doc, let's say, as then you go and write, uh, you use the you know this uh, ms html class and here we have the the document okay so i said i will simply go and write here html document and then set i doc equals to this is your internet i dot document so this way what will happen you are able to create here i doc as the internet you know that website document okay so you are going to refer to it uh, to the front page of the website which you're going to launch so this is very important right now the next thing which we want to do is um, you have to go and check that when this program when this website was designed what names sort of you know they have given these to both these input boxes input box or what is it i don't know but then what you need to do is you just go here click here and you know right click here and see that inspect element so when you go to any of the website and you right click and see inspect element what happens it takes you to the html page right as i explained in my previous video sancho now here you need to understand a little bit of the html guys right and i had explained it in my all those three four videos right so um, but i still try to explain here now what happens the line is going to be highlighted so i'm just waiting for that so that i can go and see that the, you know the line which is going to be highlighted here that means the that particular line is used to design this the you know the username and the the password the place you can see here it's sick it, it is taking a little time but this line finally is highlighted so when you go to your website and you you know uh, click on any of those uh, the boxes where you go and log in just right click and you will see this page okay irrespective of your the browser but anyways we are using the internet explorer here okay now i explained this in my previous videos that so when you write the input input basically is what input is a html code these are all called the tags this is something uh, like we use in the user forms you know when you when you create the excel vb user forms you create the text boxes in the text boxes user go and put some information right so in the same way if you go and write the html uh, and you want to uh, use uh, you want the user to enter something you know in the box in the form of in the uh, in the form of text box you know then this is what you use okay so you can use the input box now in this particular case guys i'm using this input tag and then you have to see that what are the sort of things important here like what is the name of that input 
what is the class and what is the id and you can see here it says the type of the text that's why the that box comes right so now the thing is uh, one thing which is very much clear is that this is the input tag okay and this is the input tag and the name and the id both are given so maybe i can go and pick up let's say id or name whatever i want to pick up right so id is u name and the name is the username right so now what i will do is i will directly target these attributes in my vba coding and i'll say that go to the username of the input box and just type in there the my login id okay so how we are going to write this this is something you need to understand okay so So when you know the name of this import, there are several ways of doing it, right? You can run the loop also. You can write uh, uh, the, uh, you know, that uh, you can also write that the in the input and then there is a item dot inner text equals to, you know, whatever you want to write in there. But uh, the very simple uh, line which you can write is you simply write here I talk and all and in the all, you know, you just go and write your the name of that the the control so you see that i'm uh, they have mentioned here the username so you can go and write here the username right and then simply just go and write here the username value has to be what right so here uh, let's say i'm gonna write here my login password right so i just go and write my login password and then similarly uh, the another thing which you will do is you simply go and write here that i doc dot all and then what do you need to write in the dot uh, you have to check that what is the name defined for the password okay so what we will do is uh, right now I just backspace it and uh, I minimize this and I close this uh, and I go in the password now and I hover my right click here and I say inspect element so we go to the now the password this input box and we see that what is the name given to this password okay so let's wait for this the the page is going to take us to this so you can see here this input box has a name called the password okay so this is what i'm going to use here now so i say that i doc dot all and then i say that the password so you can definitely write here the password dot value so whatever password i mean you have okay so i'm going to write here the password so guys once you are done with this now if i just go and run this okay if i go and run this entire page quickly and uh, let's see that uh, are we able to put all these values in the username and the password so i go in first of all close this entire page now i'm going to hit on this you know I'm, I'm quickly going to run this website so let's go and run this so i click on the f5 now we would like to see that if in our document i doc are we able to put the username and the password so let's go and check that so you see the page is loading so do while this event is running right so now the page i think is done and uh, yeah so i can go and maximize this to see that what is uh, what has happened and you can see here that i have got my login id created here okay my login id is passed in and my this password is also passed in okay so this is how you can now put the your credentials okay the username and the password now the next thing which you want to do is you want to go to this login page and obviously in this login page now you would like to click so if you remember in the previous video what we did is we first of all uh, you know found out whether it is a button it, it is a a tag or what is it you know because in HTML documents you have the a tags you have the buttons like you have the div tags you have the input tags which I just you know showed you so in order to find it out what we will do we will right click on this login and we will say inspect element it's very simple guys right every time you have to go and check the uh, the you know uh, the tag which is used and for every tag we have a different different ways of doing it so let's go and check that so let me see what uh, exactly the tag is so I go and uh, so let's wait for this it's taking little time So you can see here this line is highlighted and guys this is a button tag you remember the last video where we talked about this but that was a different scenario here we have a different scenario now i know that this is a button tag so in this button tag 
I'm using the login called login underscore BTN okay so how to do this now what I will do is I will quickly go and now this button understand the concept this button is created inside the document okay and so these these all the tags like the button tag the div tag you know they are all uh, considered as the elements okay so we have to go inside these elements so what we will do is I'll first of all just quickly go and you know copy this uh, login button okay I have copied this ID now what I will do is because I have to go to under this button tag so what what is the next step now the thing is if you have created the Explorer you have launched the Explorer using this class now in this Explorer you have a document which is the front page right in that front page you have so many items to click right like in our web page we have login ID the username and the password and then is another the click button right so I'm talking about these all things then there's a forgot and this is another one this is another one so these are all called the elements right now I identified that the element belongs to the a tag so what you need to do is here now once we have uh, you know uh, made it clear to the VBA Excel VBA that look this is my I talk is going to be considered a, as my document now the next thing which I will simply do is I will go and say that uh, I'll create the element so I write here ELE or as then you go and use the same class again HTML dot and then I HTML element okay so the next time which you go and uh, say is that now they my element plural as MS HTML I HTML collection Estimate element collection okay now here you need to define this so we are going to run the collection loop we will say that for every element which belongs to the uh, your your button tag if the ID is going to be this then go and click on that element this is how we go and write the you know things so my element is going to be my I talk get element so my element because it is a part of my document which is a part of my Internet Explorer you know so what happens internet explorer in the sense that because in on the internet explorer your website is launched right so this, we are following the proper hierarchy we are starting from the parent element and then going to the child element so i see that game uh, you know get elements by the tag because your button is a tag guys so you go and use the button right so this makes sure that element is going to be considered as a button tag now which button tag we don't know so what we will say we will say that for each element in my element you know next element so this loop this is a collection loop right I hope you know the collection loops after all you're learning the web scrapping so this which is a very advanced stuff so collection loops are the loops where we can go and access the different different objects which falls under the same category right so uh, and by the way you can go and check my for each uh, of uh, if you want to know more about the for each these collection loops you can go and check the playlist excel vba collection loops there are uh, i think 20 to 25 videos there so now i simply say that if my element you know that the name is going to be equals to so i go and say that if element name is going to be equals to control v and this is the you know if you remember the name of that the the button right so then i say that just go and click on that really dot click so that's how you write it and if it is not the case then simply go and else and say end if that's it okay so this is the macro i have written here now the point is what i will do is i will just quickly go and run this and let's see that if we are able to click on this or not right so once again i make sure that i'm using the right thing and there we go you can see here guys it's the id tag it's the ID attribute of this button tag so my mistake it's not the name actually I should go and change this thank god I checked it so you got to use the ID not the name it depends you know how the programming is done what sort of HTML have, you know is written okay so I go and close this page again and I'm now going to quickly go and hit on this this is a very small macro we have written here okay so I just go and the entire code right so um, I create some more space here that's how it is yep I think that makes sense now so I go and hit on the F5 now let's go and check that so you see that the page has launched and I'm sure the credentials will go there and once the credential will go we will have you know the lock-in 
okay you can see here guys wow fantastic so you can see here I am able to log into my this entire page so simple right anyways let me log out from this so that's all guys you can use these uh, tags okay and you can log into any of the website right so this is the code for you and you can note it down and uh, just go and try on it if you find any difficulty in your uh, work let me know about it share the code with me and i'll sort out the issues okay so signing off right now thank you so much for watching this video bye bye